It's time for Declare Your Independence with Ernest Hancock. Believe me when I say we have a difficult time ahead of us. But if we are to be prepared for it, we must first shed our fear of it. I stand here without fear because I remember. I remember that I am here not because of the path that lies before me, but because of the path that lies behind me. I remember that for 100 years we have fought these machines. And after a century of war, I remember that which matters most. We are still here! Let us make them remember. We are not afraid! No fear, no fear, no fear here and declare your independence with me, Ernest Hancock, here in Phoenix, Arizona, where it's very nice, very nice indeed, and uh, we're still waiting on the global warming. I'm never, I'm never going to go swimming. I mean, dang. You know, they keep talking about, it's, you know, it's cold. Well, what we're going to do today is we're going to go ahead and get a on-the-ground view of what happened in Tucson when the Oath Keepers and various individuals and activists from here in Phoenix went down to Tucson, meet up with the activists down there and uh, express their opinion about this police state kicking in kind of thing. And I, I, I really want to uh, bring this up. Even if, which he wasn't, he didn't have any drugs there and so on, but uh, that didn't stop him from riddling them with bullets. But I'm I, so, you know, voluntary transactions with and I want and here's your marijuana and I'm just, this drug war thing's got to go away. And it was always an excuse to take away our rights. So whenever you take away liberty, you know, watch out here, you know, grab your rights because here they come. What we've done is I <clears throat> want to share with some of the uh, new listeners. You know, one thing I got to tell you what's going on. Let's give a shout out to News Talk AM 1590 WVNA. And it's the voice of Northern Alabama, Florence and Muscle Shoals. They have had weather problems there across the country. It's been getting, it's been getting funky. And they are uh, taking the show to replace uh, some that they're, they got to get their satellite fixed. And we're more than happy to help um, uh, inject y'all. Because this is around the country. I've been doing radio since February of 03. And we were a popular morning talk show here in Phoenix, Arizona for a long time. And we developed Freedoms Phoenix, Freedoms with an S, freedomsphoenix.com, and incorporated our radio show into the internet. Now, of course, we have some affiliates around the country, but the main thing was I was realizing as we, as you know, libertarian geeks, man, we we're all about the computer. What we found out was, is that the MP3, before anybody even heard of MP3, MP what? What the heck's that? We were able to archive the shows on our own site. We would track it. We were getting tens of thousands of downloads for the shows. I go, you know, they, the local market, they would kill for that many people in their ratings for the local show here. Morning drive, you know, get, you know, we break for traffic. Yeah, get the tax slaves to work. I mean, we were having fun. But I was the first, you know, certainly in a major media market, libertarian on the air. And this is, you know, this freaking a lot of people out. They were like, wow, man, how'd that happen? Well, it, uh, it's a long story, but bottom line was there was an opening, we filled it, and it got popular. But I understood the future to be the internet. People had the access to this kind of information on the internet, be it in print, websites, video, YouTube, and MP3. This is iTunes. We're on there. You can subscribe. You get it's just RSS feeds, all kinds of ways to get access. To this content. Now, a lot of people, and, and we're talking to a lot of the new affiliates that we have going on in, in Oregon, Alabama, New Hampshire, and a, a bunch of others, you know, Tennessee, I see Kentucky, there's a Florida, you know, there's a lot of people and a little pirate radio and so on. This is the future. What happens when you get access to something other than content that is bullet pointed from some central command somewhere. You know, I give you it last night. I was watching the daily show, uh, John Stewart. 
and he was going on about Sarah Palin's bus tour. Well, it's it's really, it's really interesting how this is working. She is a paid employee of Fox News, and and she's running this pack that's going kind of what you know they're doing the best they can to try and you know drum up some support for her and whatever the messages that they have, and and we from the Love Evolution were very much involved in the Tea Party. Well, not necessarily the party or the movement. It kind of jumped on the bandwagon. We were raising uh, tens of millions of dollars for Dr. Paul from just the real grassroots. None of this AstroTurf stuff. It is Generation Next. Generation Next are these young people and the ones that are in, you know, heck, elementary school, junior high, high school. They're the ones a lot of times brought their parents into this movement because you can't lie to kids. I got four, man. I, I got two grandkids. Let me tell you what happens. Um, you can't lie to them. And now that they got a smartphone sitting there in class and a mandatory youth indoctrination teacher goes up and says, uh, blah, blah, blah. And they're, before they even finish the sentence, they're going to their smartphone going, you know, um, I did some uh, peer review checking, kind of asking around forum uh, website, kind of, you know, fibber. You're not telling us the truth. I'm covering the secrets, exposing the lies. And how do you determine when you're being lied to? What What is it that we get? And it's why we call the show Declare Your Independence with Ernest Hancock. Because the Declaration of Independence is very simple. It says, you know, uh, the whole purpose of government is to protect individual rights. When it becomes destructive of that, it's time to alter or abolish. FYI, you know, oh, we, we don't care what kind of government. He didn't talk about democracy or even the republic or constitution or any of that stuff. It was just, hey, man, whatever you got, you know, do it locally. And then here came the Articles of Confederation, but it give, didn't give them enough central authority. So here comes the Hamiltonians. Now, anybody, Hologram of Liberty by Boston Tea Party, if you guys want to get a dose of what really happened, uh, that's a good one. Anti-Federalist Papers. It was all the warnings. You know, Patrick Henry, four hours, he's talking to the legislature in Virginia as governor. And he's going, man, I smell a rat. He goes, no, 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 no. This is, it's all about the power, the power, the power, the power. Eminent domain, the power to tax, the power to regulate commerce. Heck, if I was king, what else would I want? You know, this is, I mean, seriously? What else do you need? Well, anti-federalists said, look, man, we know what's coming. You know, we, didn't we just have a revolution for this? No wonder they had to have it in secret. So... They needed ratification. Virginia, a very important state. Patrick Henry goes, no, 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 no. I see where this is going. Four hours. Don't do it. So what came of that? What was the compromise? Right off the bat, you know, they, they, they had to keep another revolution for start, from starting. You know, you had Thomas Paine, common sense. He was against this thing. Jefferson's in France. You know, you got Patrick Henry. What'd they do? All right, all right, all right, a bunch of naysayers, a bunch of damn libertarians of the day. What are we going to do? We're going to do the 10 thou shalt not, knots of uh, government, the Bill of Rights. We'll, we'll go ahead and add that. Here it is. Okay. We will never fill in the blank. <clears throat> we keep hearing about this social contract that I never signed, by the way. I don't even know what the heck they're talking about. But even if it was binding, it was on generations ago. It had nothing to do with me. You know, I, I, they didn't pick my ruler for me, and their descendants forever are enslaved on the plantation of. I'm going, whoa, 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 whoa. And I'm not even going to ask for, you know, permission to be free. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm done. I, I, I get it. You know, you're just a, you know what governments are? Let me tell you what they are. Real simple. They are gangs with a flag as they're kicking in your door. So with the Bill of Rights, they go, all right, here's your deal. All right. So they avoided uh, another revolution. And uh, we pinky swear we're not going to do these things. Well, what happened? They do every single one of them. You know, free speech zone? Seriously? You know, Fourth Amendment, gone. Everything at Second Amendment. I mean, you know, it goes on and on and on and on. And we, and we claim that, yay, yay, we, we got a little bit more of our fill-in-the-blank rights. As if it was them to give it to us. We have them. So, you violate every single one of these on a regular basis daily from Washington, D.C.? Guess what? Contract's done, man. Null and void. It's, it's binding on one side, but not the other? No, no, no. Wouldn't be prudent at this juncture. But we're going to talk about it more in the Fourth Amendment, how it applies in Tucson. Guys that were there. Drew Phillips, videographer. Oh, you're going to see some goodies.